in half an hour. Goff on his way. There. And look at that! Have you ever seen anything like that? And here comes Hurst. He's got some people on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. Hello and welcome to They Think It's All Over. With Gary and Rory is the finest cricket commentator in world history. He was only here because a brilliant doctor saved his life when he was born. It was the first but not the last time he was able to say what a marvellous delivery that was. <laughs> Richie Benno. Uh, with David and Jonathan is one and a half of Britain's greatest ever ice dance duo who shares with Brian Clough the honour of being awarded the freedom of Nottingham. They both got it for their amazing ability to stay on two feet against the odds. <laughs> Jane Torben. And just to remind everyone, we've got Richie here tonight. One of the great elder statesmen of sport, so no swearing, no filth, no locker room humour. Any of that, Jane. And you're out. Understood? <laughs> OK. We get things underway with Sing When You're Winning, we play part of a song, and the teams have to tell us what line follows. This week we have two numbers sung by the Barmy Army during the England cricket team's successful tour of Sri Lanka earlier this year. Gary, Rory and Ritchie, here's yours. Row, row, row the boat, head me down the sea. So, what comes next, Gary's team? Can I just oh, start off by saying it's a great honour to have Ritchie Absolutely. on the show. Um, you're a commentator now, but not people know that you actually were captain of Australia for 28 tests, is that right? It was right. Yep. And you never, ever lost a series, did didn't, you? Didn't lose a series. Well, no. like you, David Gower is also now a cricket commentator. <laughs> 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 is it difficult when you're commentating in the ashes that, that, you know, you have to be careful not to slag off the opposition? Always want to see Australia win everything. When right. they're on the so I've got a quote from you here, an early commentary. It's been a marvellous day's cricket here at Edgbiston. <laughs> Apart from those pommy bastards <laughs> who are batting with their heads up their asses as usual. <laughs> Especially their captain, one D.R. Gower, Esquire. <laughs> A long streak of paralysed pelican piss, if ever I saw. 1985. That's right. <laughs> Throw, throw, throw. This is very difficult. I voted the worst singer in the 953, 56 and 61 tours and then I retired. <laughs> throw, throw, throw the ball. Gently down the seam. Gutting's here so someone hide the pies and cake and cream. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think anybody's going to take that title off you, Richie. <laughs> <part of it. laughs> throw, throw, throw the ball. Gently down the seam. Boring, 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 boring. I'd rather watch Torville and Dean. <laughs> Throw, throw, throw the ball gently down the seam. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> 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 is that it? Isn't it? No, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. That's very good. <laughs> I like that. That's that quite scary, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit. Yeah. This seemed quite butch for a minute there. I think it's a it's a pun because the original was merrily merrily merrily. Yes. I think it's a pun on um, is he a Pakistani or a Sri Lankan? Uh, Sri Lankan Sri Lankan bowler. Yeah. yeah. Some people thought that he had a slightly suspect action until they proved at the University of Western Australia that uh, he has a double super extended elbow that um, goes back to front. That doesn't scan, uh, Richie. No. <laughs> no. So is it something like <laughs> throw, throw, throw the ball gently down the seam? Murley, Murley, Murley has a generally extended hyper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you three points for that. Indeed, yes. <laughs> this is how it goes on. Row, row, row the ball, gently down the sea. Ah! Merrily, 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 chucks it like a dream. Yes, indeed. A reference to the controversial action of Sri Lankan spinner Mattia Muralitharan, although he's been accused of throwing well, Murali's. That's Thank fantastic. You. Mattia Muralitharan. Brilliant. Muralitharan, I think, is. Wouldn't you agree, Richie? Muralitharan. Well, thank you. Muralitharan. <laughs> Marvellous delivery there. F Australians. <laughs> I must apologise for David, he hasn't had his HRT pill today. <laughs> I've never seen him look better. Uh. <laughs> 
Although he's been accused of throwing, Morelli's action has been thoroughly examined by experts and cleared on the grounds that he's got an unusual number of joints in his right hand. Not as many as Phil Tufnell, I'll bet. <laughs> Morley's dad is from Candy and, as luck would have it, became a confectioner. His mum is from Colombo and became a shambling one-eyed detective. <laughs> David's team, the Barmy Army, repaired to the bar for their next ditty. Albus is a rotor with three lights on his cap. He goes in first for England. He is our finest bats. He scores them on the left side. He scores them on the right. He's followed in by Gower and he's a load of shite. <laughs> I can cope with the ceaseless whisperings of the unemployed, it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jane, it is lovely to have you on the show. And the Thank you. It's a very nice. Very and good. may I say how lovely it is, because I know that they've asked you many times over the years, and you have, probably quite wisely, always refused to come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I suspect now that I'm on and I've raised the tone a bit, you realise that... <laughs> Absolutely. But I know in the early days they've sometimes made jokes at the expense of ice skating. If you cast your mind back to the very early days, when there was a, a very slim Nick Hancock, <laughs> before his terrible and cruel addiction to pies... <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. It's not, is it? This man said that ice dancing it's oh, so you don't knock in the face, come <laughs> sorry, on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry, you won't dancing. hit her. <laughs> Always right, ice dancing is just twatting around on the ice in a frock. That's basically it, yeah. How dare you? You know, she was never, that's how one face, she was twatting around in a tutu. <laughs> but it's a tough sport, because you were injured many times, weren't you? Yeah, you can take some falls, yeah. I read once, didn't you get injured, you caught your, your bootlace in Christopher's ring, is that right? <laughs> this is cool. Did this, ha this happened, didn't it? Yes, it was the hook on, oh, the, on the boot. Blimey, I tell you, I'd love to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that took some explaining, didn't it? <laughs> Did it end? Did it go, do you me? really like it? Do you really like it? Well, load it, load it, load it! Really, load it, load it! Do you really like it? Come on, join it. Do you really like it? Well, load it, load it! Iron Napa, Iron Napa. Iron Napa, what a marvellous mm. song. Yeah. <laughs> is it, I mean, is, is it something to do with the, um, it bats all through the night, it's a sort of, it's, it's a... Yeah, I'll give you three points for yeah. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Here's the full version. He scores them on the left side, he scores them on the right. And when he plays Sri Lanka, he'll score all through the night. Steve Waugh calls Mike Atherton the cockroach because no matter how many times you stamp on him, he always gets up again. That and the fact that when you turn the light on, he hides under the fridge. <laughs> Mike Atherton's highest test score is 185 not out. Even better than that, David Gower's highest test score is 215. It's not funny, it's true, and it'll be edited out of the show. <laughs> not really. Will you say, what a wonderful delivery that was? Uh, what a wonderful delivery that was. <laughs> Ooh, <wow. laughs> so exciting. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have three points and Gary's team have three points. Oh, well It's another outing for our lip-reading round now, all about the words sportsmen say in the heat of action. Gary's team, here's the moment when our very own Jane Torville was practising with partner Christopher Dean in preparation for their Winter Olympic comeback in 94. And Chris made her cry. First day of the test against Australia got out quick. Straight up Milton Keynes. <laughs> the weather looked right yeah, as well for the first day of the test Extra series. Coaching. Yeah, quick afternoon stalking. Great yeah. fun. <laughs> but do you not find when you met Jane this afternoon that as soon as you met Jane you started hearing dum da 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 dum Do you really yeah. like it? <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done this, but I found that's ideal music to make love to a beautiful lady. <laughs> because it goes on and on and on and on for quite a long while. Mm -hmm. Rather like my good self. Now, <laughs> but then I noticed when you, when, you, when, you, when you did so well mm -hmm. and getting all the sixes, 
you were, it was a shorter version, and yet it came to the point much sooner. Now, I'm not saying I was doing anything at home when I was watching it, but I was somewhat surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm curious, was that a different version of it? It was specially orchestrated to last four minutes, because that's the rules of competition. So you can get a four-minute version? You can, yeah. You couldn't put that on a tape for Rory, could you? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the end of, the end of it, it used to end... Da, 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 da. <laughs> You couldn't put that, just that on a tape for Gary, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Jane, I read somewhere that you, you and Christopher were quite superstitious, and he wore the same pair of blue Mustard's underpants for 16 years. Apparently, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, apparently. So it wouldn't work in cricket, you see, when, when David was facing West Indian bowlers, he had to change his underpants six times every over. <laughs> 16 years? He must have had to use a chisel to get them off. <laughs> of You're superstitious, aren't you? I used to be. Gary never gets out of bed for less than 50 grand. <laughs> Everyone always wonders when there's a partnership in sport whether or not there's any actual romance there, whether there's any sparks there. Which I, I'm not asking you now, but Gary, you and Mark Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, I can't imagine ice skating's big in Australia. Australians do ice skating. It's a bit of a sort of um, uh, effeminate sport. A, a bit of what? You're on his deaf side. <laughs> <laughs> I went ice skating once. Did you? Mm -hmm. well, I was 16, 17 at the time. And uh, it took me four miles, I had to walk home after I'd taken the girl home who'd gone ice skating with me. And I thought, forget that, and I never went again. You should have taken the skates off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. He's saying something like, come on, it's not a sport, we're just twatting around on the ice in frocks. <laughs> No, I'm afraid not, and I can't hand it across. The answer Why was... Not? Well, because Jane's going to... Well, Jane. no. I'm going to ask Jane, because I, I was going to read out what was actually said, but I think... But can, Jane, can you, can you be Jane Torval and I'll be Christopher D? Okay. I've okay. said that to you before, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> All you need is a bucket of ice, I tell you, in a hotel room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've all thought it. Okay, I'll be Christopher. Why are you changing it? Why have you just left it in one place the whole time? But you said don't go like that. It still has the round movement, doesn't it? Don't look at me like that. Okay, okay. Hands up, eyes to the ceiling. Great. Good attitude, Jane. What a bastard, eh? <laughs> As we've heard, Christopher Dean wore the same lucky pair of M&S pants for every major championship he and Jane skated in. They split in 1994, and Jane and Chris broke up four years later. <laughs> Beautifully done, sir. Thank you. Beautifully done. Jane oh, once it. said, for us, skating is as pleasurable as sex. In other words, nothing too ambitious, avoid the damp patches, and try and finish together. <laughs> David's team, it's an equally popular sport for you, the Japanese shouting championships from Osaka. And this time we want you to translate what the competitors are saying. <laughs> Those were Grandpa's Eight fans, weren't they? Saying, get that Rineker off his clap. <laughs> it's what I said to Chris when the cameras were turned off. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever used to swear at him? Oh, no, absolutely not. Why not? She's too nice, aren't oh, you? No, Danny's very nice. Sweet. She's so nice Sweet. downstairs. Sorry? <laughs> No, no, they have a drink before the show, Dan. She downs. was nice. She we didn't even ask for cats like they normally do. <laughs> Is he shouting? Is that bloke shouting? Come back, Winnika. Pay the maintenance to my daughter. We know you are the father. We now need DNA testing. Those big ears, not Japanese man. Come back, crispy boy. We now want crispy. We want yen. Lower yen. Lower, lower yen. <laughs> I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. No, no, it's nothing. It's Please, honestly, David. It was no, honestly, it was nothing. <laughs> He's not asking you test average. He wants to know what you're going to say. Come on. <laughs> Actually, that would be a challenge, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be a challenge to get north. Absolutely yeah. nothing. There's a fellow in Australia who uh, played only one test. His name is Roy Park. Mm -hmm. And Roy Park's wife went to the MCG pack ground, watched him play in his first test match. And um, she was knitting away. Batsman got out. Roy Park, husband, comes in. 
and uh, she dropped a wool bit down to pick it up and he's out. And that was it? That played was his test career? Never played again. <laughs> <laughs> Average not. <laughs> Well, it's a shouting competition. They're probably just shouting very loudly, don't go and see Pearl Harbour. <laughs> no ideas? No ideas. I'm not going to hand it across. The answer was, of course, they were shouting, don't be a... Well, did you know the answer? Yes. Well, bad luck. I'm not handing it across because I couldn't handle throwing Thai rice. It's on the board now, you cheeky... <laughs> <laughs> yes, the answer was, of course, don't be a fool, you can't throw Thai rice, give it to me if you want to. And karate crazy Mazutazi is immortal. I'd have accepted either of those answers. <laughs> the competition rules are simple. Loudest competitor gets the prize. Last year's winner was Jonathan's wardrobe. <laughs> the current shouting world champion is Poland's Dagmara Stanek. She was measured at 126.1 decibels, although nobody actually heard her shout because compare Ruby Wax was chatting at the time. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have three points and Gary's team have three points. It's time for what's going on. Gary's team, take a look at this. <laughs> Yorkshire pud. Mm -hmm. How dare you? Yorkshire boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the collective noun for? Is anyone have a collective noun for a bunch of Yorkshiremen? What is it? A tightness. <laughs> <laughs> and how much? <laughs> Were there an exceptional number of Yorkshire people in the so test match? Test the squad. Yeah, I'll give you three points for that, indeed, yes. <laughs> that was filmed at Lourdes last month after five Yorkshire players were picked for the England test squad. And what better way to commemorate the fact than to dress Dickie Bird in a chef's hat and apron and get him to cook them all Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> now he's retired, umpire Dickie Bird has just taken his first holiday by the seaside. He's the one wearing six sun hats and five thongs. <laughs> David's team, here's yours. The device is a Mongo-type catapult where they used to seize the villages. They put a dead body in it with botulism and throw it over the wall and kill everybody. Absolutely. So it's a Mongo thing. My name, yeah. Captain Speed. Why are you called Captain Speed? Because I am a captain and I'm fast. Bring any bells, Jonathan? <laughs> so, what was going on there? Is this how they test Jordan's bras? I apologise, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a real sport. I, I think this is ridiculous. Every week on the show now, a couple of weeks ago we had hog calling, mm. we had Japanese shouting, and you know I don't know a lot about sport. I think you put this stuff on just so that I can be ridiculed and mocked for my lack of knowledge of sport. What's that other one you had? You had these blokes playing some sport in their pyjamas. Cricket, you called it. I, don't <laughs> that <laughs> I read a nice thing in the paper about you the other day. In the Guardian here, they actually, they do it, they rate the pundits, and you come out of it very nicely. They say, uh, Vi Rakish Manor gives him the appearance of one who has wandered into the television studio straight from the nightclub. What nightclub would that be? The broken <laughs> hippodrome? <laughs> and it says, uh, the winning smile makes him an object of sexual fantasy for countless women of a certain age. <laughs> what age they're talking about? They've got your picture pinned up next to that telegram from the Queen. That's the age they're talking about. It's the Bronze Age. That's the age they're talking about. <laughs> This is, this is the bit I like, though. Sometimes Weaknesses. you wish you weren't quite so laid back about Jonathan Wass. Worried to sock the, sorry, sock the smug so-and-so on the nose once in a while, he could earn the nation's grateful thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he ain't uh, from my nose. That means he's only caught me there. <laughs> Come on then, let's answer the, the question, boys and girls. Question. What's, What's going on? on? What's What's that? <laughs> the pumpkin. The pumpkin. Ah, pumpkin. there's a key word. There's a key word. Well done, Jane. Is it pumpkin hurling? Pumpkin tossing? I'll give you three points for that, just because I like you. <laughs> the key word. Pumpkin. That was the biggest sport in the US state of Delaware, pumpkin chunking, in which contestants actually build giant pumpkin throwing contraptions. They have a target 750 feet away, which they have to try and hit. The rules are simple, the machines must be constructed by hand from metal. Crews must wear safety overalls, and no machine must be capable of crossing the starting line. The Arrows Formula One team are favourites to win next year's event. <laughs> Captain Speed, who you saw in that film, is now the world's number one expert at firing pumpkins. He was recently brought in by the Middlesbrough board to get rid of Brian Robson. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have six points, and Gary's team have six points. So 
time now for our regulars to twat about in blindfolds as we play Field the Sportsman. David and Jonathan, you're first this week. If you'd like to take your positions. That's David Wine wearing the gloves to give the lucky lady who comes out now an extra sensory thrill. <laughs> You have 90 seconds to work out who you are touching up, and can we have our first mystery guest, please? Okay. And your time starts now. Floor's moved. Hey. Whoa, come on. Big one. It's a big one. <laughs> I'm not sure I think it's a lady. What have we got? Bring them back here. Come on back here, you saucy filly. Come on. There they are. It's Anne Winnicombe. <laughs> Oh, is he Rory? Is Rory crept down? <laughs> so is it a sumo? You know, Rory was almost a sumo. He went to Japan, but unfortunately Sumo's he failed right. the weight test. Just a couple of stone too heavy. Um, it's got a hairy back, but it's a prickly hair. Not unlike a boar. Yeah, Wait, going to hit you. <laughs> is this... Hang on, look. Is this the other fellow has been in the papers recently? Oh, I feel the girth on this over here. Was it? Feel the size of him. Um, You've had the pies, haven't you? Look at that. Good lord. I tell you, you're not shy and coming forward when it's a buffet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> he likes his food. Oh. Whoever it, it is. Actually, is it to do with food? Is it Delia Smith's mm. husband? Yes, sort of. <laughs> Mr. Smith, I'm pleased to be here. I've admired your wife's husband. No, 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 no it's, it's, um, yes. it's Butterbean. Butterbean yeah, is your great yeah, answer, the WWA. Thank you for having me, Chucky. Nice to meet you, sir. I just should say that he's fighting at Wembley Conference Centre this Saturday. He asked me to say that and I thought, yeah, all right. <laughs> Rory and Gary, if you'd like to take your positions, please. It wasn't a bad breast, though, was it? <laughs> oh, Pop your blindfolds up. Back. <laughs> OK, and can we have our second mystery guest, please? <laughs> and you can start in now. Start now. Off you go. Folding championship. <laughs> uh, I think it's of Glastonbury. <laughs> I think it's one of uh, I think it's one of Vanessa Felt's castoffs. <laughs> well, actually, I might have a piss one here. Oh, oh, sorry. It's an Iranian porn film. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Uh, <laughs> Irish, <laughs> Irish trampoline champion. <laughs> oh, 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 scary! Oh, oh, careful, careful. <laughs> what, a, what a time to come out of the closet, Gary. Is it a parachute or a tent? Is it, a it is a parachute, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, they're British parachuting champion. Gary, no. I say. No. No, it was in fact Adrian Nicholas, the pilot of the Da Vinci parachute. at the end of that round of Gary's team with six and David's team with nine. Oh. We complete proceedings with the name game. This week all the answers are the names of teams. The leaders goes first, which is David's team. Could you pass those along to Jonathan, please, Jane? Jane, don't kind. panic, relax, just trust me, I'm a TV presenter. Look into my eyes, melt, and just feel safe. And your time starts now. Here we go. Cricket team, they're always beating England. You're out there a lot. Second name would be the name of a comedian, something Boardman. 
Stan, what? And the first bit would be if they're an Indian. Pakistan, there you go. Yeah. Well, they're not an Indian. Okay, uh, this is your team. You've got the key to this uh, city, and uh, which is Nottingham. And the second bit, a big black cat. Row, row. Leopards. What no, not leopards. They've got spots. A big Don't black one. Panthers. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Melanized. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first one. Lead singer of Pulp. Your favourite band. Jarvis. Cocker. 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 Yeah, exactly. Second one, people say I've got a big one of these. <laughs> That's you. Mouth. Yeah, right. Cocker Mouth. And uh, then it's an uh, abbreviation for Cricket Club. <laughs> well, you must know! <laughs> Richie, help him out, will you? He's a new boy. On the deaf side. <laughs> <laughs> it's an abbreviation for Cricket Club. CC. There you go. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, you... All right, OK. Uh, this is uh, the, first, the first part <laughs> is a swimming team. First part is a treat you can eat between meals. <laughs> No, I'd never try that. No, well, no, no, no. no, no. Of course, eats meals between meals. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 if you look up to the galaxy and all the stars are constellations. Milky Way. Yes. The Milky Way. And the second name is um, a golf thing. It's an American golf thing and it's the US... So, Masters. There you go. Okay, let's go. Ah, now, what do you do when you turn on the hob and you light it? What do you get? What's that you like? Vroom! No, it's not vroom. It's <laughs> yeah. called gas. And if, if you've got something which is not in the solid form, but indeed is in another form... Liquid. Liquid gas. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, set... Oh. Okay. Moved on to 14. Nine will win it for, for Rory. Richie, could you pass those along to Rory, please? Good luck, Rory. Thank you, Richie. Nice to have a gentleman on the show. And your time starts now. Um, this is a rugby union. They're touring Australia at the moment. Rugby union side. British Lions. Lions. Very good indeed. Uh, this is, I think it's your home club, uh, Richie. River that flows through Sydney is called the River... Yeah, there's the Parramatta River. Uh, yeah, this is an abbreviation for cubic centimetre. CC. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, we had this boat on earlier. He's, um, He's the, in it, he the head of a ship is a captain. And that stuff that you buy off that drug dealer, a friend of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not slow, it's fast. Speed, speed. Captain speed. And his team, which mentioned earlier, a song by Donovan. I'm just mad about saffron. Mellow saffron. Yellow. Thank yes. you. God, that was close. Um, this is a name of a pub. It's not white, it's... It's red. not white, Black. it's red. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a... It's not a cat, it's a... Dog. Very good. And people who drink in... You know, you know people who drink. Drinkers. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> more kind of gloss, more... Boozers. Boozers. Black dog booze, very good. <laughs> this is... The first, um, first word is a uh, sort of carpet, you know, very famous sort of carpet. But Wilton. Yeah. Wilton, very good. Second word is the Spanish for and. E. Very good indeed. Um, that's a Y. Um, yeah, a y. Second word, first two syllables. E. C, 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 C. Yeah, I'm going to call that What does an owl do? Hoots. Without the T. Who? Who? Well, who? Very good. Wilton. <laughs> this is a Malaysian football side named Island in Indonesia. And. Uh, <laughs> At the end of the game, Gary's team have 11 points, but this week's winner is David's team with 14! Yeah. Yeah. So, our well, thanks to Gary, Rory and Richie, David, Jonathan and Jane. We're all off to put Rory in a giant umpkin costume and post him to Delaware. <laughs> My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. Jack D does DIY and other people's mobile phone conversations in TV to go. All still to come tonight on BBC One. There's a special compilation of the best of